the Jeff Davis Show on tour up here in Dallas, Texas. And uh, we're visiting with John Trockman, who is the co-founder of the Militia of Montana. Mr. Trockman, it's a pleasure to have you uh, in here for this short little... Thanks for having me. ...the short little interview. Uh, John, first off, if you would, just give us a little uh, a brief history of, of what caused you to... Uh, or what, you know, how did this Militia of Montana form and what, what did you see the need for and, and all of that? It's not something that happened overnight. I've been in the military back in the early 60s. I was the Cuban Missile Crisis. And I watched the missiles stay as the ships brought decoys out. And it got my attention in a very large way. I watched my president get shot in the face the first time I voted on military television. It was probably a little more than the public was able to see. So I've been in hot pursuit ever since, you might say. For the last approximately 22 years, it's almost been 100% involvement. The word militia was a word that we used in early 1994 for probably more of a rallying purpose than anything else. It reflected the ancestry of our nation, where it started, where it all started from. Tell us a little bit, John, if you will, I visited your booth over there. Tell us a little bit, uh, if you will, of, of your perception of this, of this, this so-called new world order that we hear. Oh, well, you mean the global grabbers? Right, right. right. That's exactly what it is. Global grab for all the natural resources, uh, everything that mankind needs to exist. And as near as I can tell from the information that we have, we have a lot of solid documentation. We don't say it without it. Uh, is a population reduction that's well underway. We just haven't seen the body count start coming back yet. And it's, it's going to happen in this country. From the information we have, the population in America is supposed to be dropped to a maximum of 150 million by the year 2000. Uh, just let me interrupt you for a minute. What, what are some of the mechanisms? Uh, well, through abortion and a well, no, way beyond that. No, it's it's way beyond that. According to the Cobden Clubs, uh, which uh, Congressman Gephardt from Missouri is a part of, which is the minority speaker of the House today, the population has to be reduced by military force when required. That's a pretty sturdy statement. But what we perceive them doing is to accomplishing this through what the public perceived as natural catastrophes that man has no control over, when in fact uh, they do have control over and it's being done on purpose. In 1976, I heard the Sierra Club say that we the people are wasting the natural resources that they believe belongs to them at much too rapid a pace and must be culled back. Like, God, they don't care for their fellow man. More is not enough. They want it all. That's why I call them global grabbers. Uh, this, this, this... First of all, how many men? There's several thousand in the militia of Montana, is that correct? Actually, there's nothing well, okay, to join. Well, okay, that's right. I, you no, already let me just say this now. There's nothing to join, nothing to sign up for. If you right. claim to be a citizen, you're it. Right. Young or old, rich or poor, male or female. You have a vested interest to protect your backyard because that's where your children, children are playing. You don't need a paycheck for that. You don't need to sign anything. But, but, it, was the, as a but it was the militia of Montana. I was told that it was encamped outside. And I support this, by the way. But it was encamped outside the Freeman so-called compound. When the FBI was around them, we and, and the were militia observing. Montana was we, we were was observing quoted in the paper as saying that there would be no Wacos here. In fact, if the, if the, if the FBI attempts well, a Waco, let's backtrack that statement just a little bit. We went to uh, Washington D.C. Uh, a number of militias from around the country and addressed the U.S. Senate on the anti-terrorism bill. And uh, the FBI has told us afterwards, and it's not just us; it's many people that have been putting the pressure on. They say that the rules of engagement have changed because of what you and people like you have been doing, and they proved that in Jordan, Montana. They didn't use any military intervention and no bloodshed, which but, was so first the, for a siege for a while. The statement wasn't made, I, I, like I say, the statement well, wasn't made that uh, if the FBI attempts another Waco that they, they won't be leaving Montana. Well, it, it wasn't quite like that. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I'm walking off the, the uh, I thought it was humorous myself. <laughs> we, we had people there observing what was going on. Yeah. We believe that should this should be aired in court, as corrupt as the courts are. Every time we've, we've been forced to use them, we've made them function properly because we forced the issues on them. We fought them and beat them at their own game. And we believe that the Freemans should be doing the same thing. Are you, are you in, con in contact with, uh, uh, let's say, Norm Olson, Mark Cornicky, or like the Michigan militia? And Occasionally, yes. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Uh, yeah. But the, the big ones in Michigan, um, as far as in touch with the people in the militia, is not Norm Olson anymore. So uh, it's not uh, John Stettler or Mark Cornkey. Uh, it's people like Tom Wayne, etc. 
Yes. Oh, I, mean, I wasn't even aware of that. I, I, I don't really follow. But uh, what do you think then, John, just, just the ultimate question, what do you think then that these, that, uh, these armed uh, American people, I don't even like to refer to them as citizens, but armed American people, what do you think ultimately uh, could be their function uh, if this, when, when this new, as this new world order continues to get rammed down our throats? Well, the biggest weapon in America today is the media. It's the tool of what you're doing and other people are doing across the country to inform, to educate. Um, much more powerful than anybody's firearm. The firearms that the militia holds is extremely antiquated compared to the, uh, the lethal technology that our military holds that they claim is non-lethal weapons. That's a lie. It's extremely lethal in its mass destruction at one stroke of their equipment. Um, what, what we see and suggest is, is it all happening through an educational process to wake our fellow Americans up. Uh, our founding fathers faced the same thing and there were six years of very hard, gut-wrenching education that they went through to rally their 3%. Now we already know we have more than 3%, but more is not enough. We want all of America together to work together to put away our petty differences and to put our nation back together. John Trockman, I wanted to say that I, I first off, I appreciate your time you spent on the, on the Jeff Davis program. Did you have a final comment or, or statement you'd like to make to the viewers that are watching the show at this time? I sure would. Don't take anybody's word for anything, folks. Work out your own salvation. L learn to save your own backside. Learn what it's all about on your own. Do your own research. Certainly don't, uh, don't listen to the lying lips of the great Satan that we have to call mass media today. Anyway, okay. Uh, John, again, I do appreciate it. You're a man that I've uh, had, had respect for for a while. Uh, I'm just a plain old plow boy. We're all of this together. Yeah, I agree.